Okay, let's say you're walking around in a forest a hundred million years ago in what is now modern Thailand, and you decide to take a piss. There's a good chance if a creature was to mistake your twig and berries for actual vegetation and devour your nuts, this is the dinosaur it would be the best scientific explanation I could possibly give of this creature. Here is the adorable little fella. I think this was added to the aisle like years and years ago, but I don't even remember anything past like three years ago. So th this is brand new to me right here. It's got some adorable different little variants. It's so freaking short. You can barely see it over the thing, but the variants don't actually have any attributes, any advantages. But look at that one. It's like a tiny head with a big furry butt. That's hilarious. And some of them are super bulky and armored. I feel like where is this? This one's probably the most gangster because he's got the most face spikes. He's so little. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Freaking became a rattlesnake for like five seconds right there. Leave a like on the video, comment something dinosaur related down below, and subscribe for this adorable little bastard. Oh my god, this is the cutest little dinosaur I've ever seen, bro. Oh, it's adorable. I feel like we'll be spared by a lot of creatures, just- Oh damn! Like, it's- it's- it's tiny, but also kind of horrifying. <laughs> yeah, the rest of these just sound like general speaking. Yeah, that one sounds very agreeable, but this one, dude. This thing starts rattling its tail at me, I'm gonna kick it so hard in the face. Okay, we're on a server with very- Jesus, we're already an adult? That's crazy! I checked like five servers to find one with this dinosaur, and the only one that had it was one of these servers where you grow up freaking instantly. <laughs> so we're just gonna skip childhood and go right into surviving. A day in the life of this little dude. Also, we're on a new map that I've never played. Or maybe I have played it. It's one of like, there's a few island maps and I can never tell them apart from each other. They're freaking beautiful though. It is cool to simulate surviving on a beach type terrain as a dinosaur. Plus, according to the laws of Jurassic Park, the bigger, more terrifying stuff is found inland. So this typically would know. I feel like this creature would definitely definitely be found in a jungle. Look at this little dude just booking it down the freaking beach. He's really well done. The mods in this game are so impressive. He's so perfectly shaped. Nature did such a good job. Although his tail looks like the biggest predator bait on the planet. Like they see that running through any area. It's like a freaking cat toy, bro. He's like cat toy shape. Nature did this guy absolutely no favors. I see a small dinosaur over there. Some sort of raptor, austro-raptor, something something bipedal and fast and bigger than me so i'm going to go oh yeah dude we go into the into the leaves can't even see us i haven't played this game in so long i forgot that missions are a big part of everything so what we're gonna do is deliver some flowers damn dude yeah deliver them like right in his in his visibility spot that's so risky look at this adorable little guy holding on he's holding on to the flowers he's not biting them he's holding flowers that's the cutest crap i've ever seen there's a chance we'll get to survive just based off our cuteness. Like, you gotta be really hungry to kill a dude who's bringing you flowers. Okay, there's a Megalania right there. Megalanias are soulless monsters, dude. I don't have verification. I'm just assuming they're the ancestors of, like, Komodo dragons, and those are the most heartless freaking monsters on the planet. I've seen so many videos on Reddit of them devouring, like, baby monkeys. That's why I stopped reacting to animal footage. Because all the footage is on Reddit. Oh, crap, dude. He's... He's sitting on the flowers that I need. He's turning his head. He's aware that there's someone in the vicinity. He heard my feet and he saw them, or he heard them stop. Or he's looking directly at us right now. I feel like I could get the flower and book it though, because he's laying down, like that's my chance. I could try and kill him, but I haven't upgraded my attributes for battle just yet. I need money first. That's what the flowers are for. Okay, I'm just gonna grab it. I am still pretty freaking cute looking. Look at this guy holding onto the flowers. Looks like a little, the angel of Valentine's Day. You know what? I'm gonna start bringing women more flowers in my life. I, I didn't realize that this, if this is how it comes off in any way, look at this little guy just bringing cam flowers towards the camera. I can't get over this. This is quickly turning into one of my favorite creatures in this game just because of how well it carries flowers. This is the ancient um, uh, ancestor of the gentleman. This dude's still sleeping on the flowers. What's going on, buddy? We could coexist together until I'm ready to try and kill you. No, he looks like something that would be perfect for killing me. Sweet! And I gotta do- we just made $120,000 delivering flowers. Damn, bro, I'm in the wrong business. 
Were those flowers code word for cocaine shipments? Because that would actually make sense. Okay, we gotta find a nice spot to uh, to conceal. Although this Megalania, he's not an issue. If he gets hungry eventually, we're gonna look a lot sexier to him. This is a nice spot, bro. Freaking going hardcore mode. No one's pulling a fast one on Johnny today. Oh, look at him plop over. That was cute. I love when they have cute sleeping animations. Okay, colors. This is pretty cool. This one's really awesome. What's that, Downy? Ooh, Finch. Are these named after birds? I freaking love when they're inspired by natural stuff. So far, Finch is looking like this. Emerald's pretty cool looking. Sulfur, that's sexy. But Finch, that's too cool, dude. I feel like Marsh is really good if you want to blend. Yeah, for, for camouflage, Marsh is probably the best. And then Finch is probably the absolute worst. Actually, if we're going camouflage, I'm going to go Emerald for sure. Because it's not just about being pretty. It's about being, like, smart with our strategies. Begin the shed. Okay, there's bites and headbutt. A quick headbutt attack can be used while running. That's awesome. But it's a tiny little head. What's it going to do? Okay, for senses, there's stampede. Increased damage by 2.5% for each ceratops scene in the group. And then I'm assuming the other one's for... Okay, well, it's just us. We're lone survivor today. I could have got some buddies on or at least Kieran. But like, I don't know. It's, it's Sometimes I'm just like surviving solo to see what you got to go through. Oh, this is what it's all about, baby. Burrow, dig underground to avoid damage. That is the sh right there dude being able to dig underground is so that's game changer. that's a total game changer and then claw attack give low damage or causes low damage give stacking debuffed armor it's not very hopeful for it to open up with causes low damage like, like those little paws dude I maybe mean, we can have both attacks but it's just i guess we should just get used to the attacks not doing much because we're small as far as food goes because there's so much freaking stuff for herbivores dude our food will drain a little quicker but we won't have to stick around to specific environments. Sharp quills deals damage when bitten on the tail. That's that's awesome, because I'm probably going to get bit a lot. Serrated qu quills deals low damage and bleed when bitten on the tail. Damn, dude, I'm going to bait my ass towards the... Poisonous quills deals low damage and poison when bitten on the tail. And the tough scoots increase armor by 10%. Scoots? Damn it, we have to choose between one of them. None of them. Okay, freaking low dam... Okay, poison... What's worse, poison or bleeding? Poison or bleeding? Poison or bleeding? I think it's really just about dealer's choice. What do you prefer to make them bleed or be poisoned? What makes people panic more? I feel like poison actually might catch them off guard a little bit more. Ooh, for legs, he gets a little charge. Charge forward in a line, causing damage to anything you hit. Damn, bro. Back limb leap. Ooh, leap. Long distance runner. Reduce running stamina by 15%. Increase jump height and reduce stamina spent when jump... Oh, clearly, we gotta go leap. That's just a game changer. You're gonna be like bouncing around. It's gonna be like trying to catch popcorn. Okay, for the tail, an attack that causes light damage and venom. Okay, freaking. Okay, I'm gonna equip this. So this way, once we start swinging our tail and they bite the tail, they're gonna get venom and bleed at the same time. We're just the worst. For senses, I'll put this on. Even though it doesn't benefit us whatsoever, I got the freaking money. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sweet. We've got our attacks. We've got our bite. Our little hit. Nice. Those little hands, so useless, but like, do it again. Oh, that's just crazy. It's like being swiped at by a freaking baby kitten. Our burrow, though, this is what it's all about. Oh, this is amazing. How long can we stay underground for? Forever? This is such a game changer. I don't know if people realize. Being able to go under the map. I hope this leads to like some crazy giant death worm type monster. That'd be awesome. Okay, we appear to have left the ground. I didn't know when it was coming. There's probably a meter or something maybe on the little attack while I was thinking about death worms. Here's our charge. Oh, he's unstoppable. Dude, he can't be stopped. And then this, that's our tail attack. This is what's going to equip the deadly amount of bleeding. That little pitter patter, watch out. Woo! And then we shall grab flowers as well in case our barrage of insane, monstrous, downright demonic attacks don't work. We can bring them flowers. Call me a simp. At least I'm not dinosaur shit. Okay, where do people chill out on this map? I don't know this map. Where do the normies go? I guess look at the map. What looks like a place where people would go? Why is this area dark? Is that the haunted forest? That's so a freaking haunted forest. I guess if we just hug the beach and then curve inland later here, there's no way this isn't something. Maybe this down here, but no, it's so out of the way. This is like all uh, this. This has got to be the money spot. I need to give this little dude a, a fedora, bro. A fedora would fit the flower so well. 
He's got good fall damage. I don't know if it's just the server or what, but the little dude takes it well. This dude just terrified me for half a second. The things he could do to us. I think we should try and be sweet first, present them with flowers before presenting them with violence because you catch more flies with sugar. Evening, my lady. I brought you some of these flowers. Hopefully their favorite color is red. Okay, bringing a dimension on flowers is a ballsy game, dude. That's a fast creature. I think he's getting the vibe. I brought you some flowers. There you go. Flowers? Oh, yeah, baby. That's how we do it in the hood. I done it. I oh, he took my flowers. Damn, bro. I'm better with women in this game than I am in real life. And then I disappear. Never to be seen again. Just like in real life. Wait, I'm going to need those flowers back, actually. I suppose I'll wait over here. Damn, I probably just hurt that dinosaur's confidence a little. It got flowers. What else does it want? A marriage? And then when we come out of the ground, we're all the way over here. Sneaky, sneaky, bro. It's got a 30 second cooldown, though. So we got to use it wisely. Oh, man, if he catches me up here, it's going to be so awkward. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm going to get these flowers back. I'm a re-gifter, okay? Oh, crap. I think this thing loves me now. It's like following me around and stuff. You're smothering me. Okay. Over here is going to be freaking hardcore level gift giving. Bring in a freaking ancient crocodilian sea monster flowers will not be easy. Everything seems generally pretty nice. Hello. I've got flowers. <laughs> Y'all are good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. One of these things walking fast behind you is crazy. Wow. Look at this giant feathered chicken. I did not realize they had feathered dinosaurs in this. That's a beautiful... Whoa, dude. That's a good-looking dinosaur right there. <whistles> hey, my lips are too chapped to whistle. I can't sexualize it. Everyone's a fan of the flowers game. Now, this, is, this is how you charm a server right here. And now he's stepping up the hard mode. Damn, he stole that guy. Don't let it... Don't let it make you falter, Johnny. Everyone loves the gentleman. No, oh, damn! Oh, God! Oh, shit! Oh my god! Damn, bro! What is this? At least I still got my flowers. You can take the... Dude, I am freaking getting done and did right now. Yeah, probably drop the flowers, little buddy. It's probably time to... Probably time to let that... Let that dream go. No! You guys are pieces of shit! Pieces of shit! Tell you what you just did. You just created a freaking vigilante. I used to be a nice family... Are those... Can I hold these... Oh, yes, bro. More stuff to pick up. Oh, this one sucks. It just glues to one of his hands. I wish I didn't see that. This time we're coming back with flowers. But this time the flowers aren't for the love of my life. They're for my enemy's grave. Oh, my God. This baby Stego is being teamed up on by these monsters. It, it takes... Oh, no. I left these flowers here before. It's so cinematic. Someone's got to die. I will help, little fella. Oh, damn. Who's going to help me? <laughs> I, I have just realized the air of my ways. Yeah, you get tail attack. Look at you stacking that bleed up. Stacking that bleed. All right, careful. Watch out behind you. Nice. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm too freaking fast with it. Be careful not to accidentally friendly fire the Stego because I feel like he will drop me, bro. Nice. That, that Stego tail almost got me right there. Whoa! I'm adding little brickets of bleed every time I run by, okay? It serves a purpose. Whoa! Damn, we ran right in front of his face. I'm like running in front of something's face to make me make an R2-D2 noise. That's what does it. Think you got me all figured out. Is your bleed already gone? Is my tail useless? Whoa! Oh, you thought, bitch. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Where am I? I'm in the walls, bro. I barely have any stamina. I have to nuzzle my way behind this rock. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm the sneakiest man alive. And now quickly get some stamina. That little baby Stego is putting up a hell of a fight. Oh, look. Reinforcements are coming. Oh, damn. You guys are about to get it now. Oh, damn. Alert. Alert the parents. Oh, you guys are in trouble now. I gotta watch this. I gotta get a front row seat of this freaking interaction. Oh, you guys are so screwed. Get him! Get him! Oh, it's awesome. 
Uh oh. Okay. All right. Stay on it. Oh lord. Uh oh. Oh, what if they get that guy? No, they won't. They won't. Everything's fine here. I wish I brought flowers for their grave. I'm gonna go get them my flowers. Oh, damn, dude. He's finishing that thing off in the water. In the water, he pursued him. Damn, bro. It's still going down. I just had time to go run and get flowers for, for, for whoever's grave needs it. I think that other guy's dead in the water. I think I just saw him die. I want to see them finish this dude off. Someone needs flowers on their grave. No! I thought the baby was had it for sure. What the fuck, man? Bro, bro, I was just watching fl holding flowers does nothing. You people are heartless monsters. Dude, these cave systems are crazy. This one's big enough for anything to walk through it, which is nice. It'll help us get back to the action a lot quicker because this game just spawned us so far. Holy hell, look at these freaking mines of Moria over here. Damn, this this map, I did not realize had such a ginormous mega cave system. Look at this freaking oasis. What the hell? What in the Garden of Eden is going on around here? This is, I thought this was just a beach map. Silly me, dude. There's so much more to this map. This is wild. This actually kind of makes this one of the coolest maps ever. You could have a whole little civilization in here. Once I saw teasers for an ape mod being worked on months ago, and I've been so excited for it ever since. I'm not rushing. I like it. Take your time. But damn, dude, once we have civilizations of ape people going on, that's when that's going to pay off right there. It's the perfect setting for the dawn of a civilization of apes. For sure. Wow, this beach is beautiful. This is like some tropical, beautiful... Wow, this map is beautiful. There's like a freaking arch. An arch of nature. And what's nice is when you have to cross between connecting landmasses or non-collecting landmasses when you have to go in the water a bit, there's little islands to connect you make it much easier it's also a freaking dinosaur right there oh there there's 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 that dickhead there he is okay my new plot is to kill that guy that freaking tris triceratopsian i don't know what subspecies it is but you know what i mean he's gonna die oh he just died anyways damn dude it's a dog eat dog world which is a horrible expression why are dogs eating each other you know what? Just because I freaking hate that guy, I'm switching diet. I just changed lifestyle choices, bro. I now consume meat. That is awesome. That's crazy. Oh, damn. Look at this guy dying. Everyone died. Look at his bloody little face. It's actually so cool when you make this thing carnivorous because they get that bloody face and he looks... It, it just looks legit, you know? Like they really just stuck their face in a corpse. You know this game has dens you can have? Like these, like the dens? Is there ones that are smaller miniature ones for these? Like, is there different size dens or is it just one blanket size? I think there's... I actually have never seen a den for sauropods before. Probably because they don't, like, sleep in dens, so they don't I, don't... I don't know. I don't know how this game handles dens very much. I've never really done it. But having a little adorable one would be freaking sweet. Okay. Back on our mission. Oh, no way. This is exactly what I was talking about right here. Oh, dude, little secret passageways for smaller stuff or just an area right here that only tiny stuff could get to. I guess bigger stuff could jump down into it, though. But still, just a little a little passageway that only I could access and stuff my size. That's specifically what I was just talking about. That's awesome. I love when they cater to us little fellas as well. We would have... Oh, my God. This place is a freaking mosh pit. Look at all the death. Flowers won't save you here. But a carnivorous diet will prosper here greatly. Kind of nibble on this guy real quick. I was concerned. I was like, how are we going to kill people efficiently enough to constantly have bodies to eat as a carnivore? Although this guy, scavengers, can't eat anything. But it's not going to be an issue. We we'll probably can't be one of these giant sea monsters because... Bro, I think this guy's in pursuit of me. Oh, you bastard. Whoop, whoop. They move on quick around here. There's so many other things for them to go for. I feel like a Megalania would be good, but... Come on, what do you guys bite me? I feel like my bleed can really affect you guys badly. We're actually in a pretty good fight. This is a battle of champions right here. My bleed wears off so quickly. I need them to bite me so they can get some tail freaking venom. Bite on... Bite on my quills! This guy's trying to just nibble me up off the ground. He's just defending his little blue guy, buddy. Whoop! Jump out of there, quick! Alan! Did someone bite? Did someone get venom intoxication? I don't even think I'm doing enough uh, blood to inflict serious damage onto the blue guy. Although this jump is awesome. I think it goes away so quickly that there's just literally no point to it. 
I think it's just a slight deterrence to keep people from constantly biting you in the butt, which still seems pretty great, not gonna lie. Whoa, God! That was close. All right. No, 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 it glitched out. I went to scratch my nose. I thought I had time. I clicked the dig and then it like canceled out. Go ahead, someone bite. Someone make my day. Not you guys. Jesus, this place got hostile fast. Stand back as the intelligent species I am and watch them all kill each other. The fight's going into the water. I can't even, where they're fighting, I'm gonna be freaking swimming. This, this fight is very like height elitist. This is not a fight for short people. If you're two foot tall, you're not gonna fit in. Dude, this guy wants the beef. I don't think I'm gonna be able to even inflict venom on him though. He's just gonna go right to one shotting me. This is pretty effective, not gonna lie. But I'm trying to get him with specifically tail attacks. Damn! <laughs> Come and get me, buddy. That's what I thought. You see, he walks slightly to the left to act like he wasn't gonna get me. You dumb bastard. What a goofy guy. And now I'm over here, safely behind the rock, because this creature is amazing. You know what it is? It's a survivor. And a pack of these would be able to survive very well, burrowing and living under the earth in their secret little ways. But as far as taking down other dinosaurs go, maybe in a pack of freaking like 10 of them, a well-organized 10 of them. But even then their attacks are basically just to keep stuff from biting them in the butt as they're squirreling away. Because if you bite them in the butt, you get all these afflictions. So it's more of a deterrent really than a legitimate attack. It's to keep you from getting eaten by larger animals. But it's in no way something that can kill them. They kept it realistic with this guy. I'll give him that. They kept it very realistic. I may have just committed suicide. Get on the land! I came here with no stamina too. It is suicide. Wow, that sea monster just watched me. Thank God. See what they're not seeing. Oh God! Yeah, I think that's pretty much the gist of it. Running around on the beach with the big guys, that's not how this little dude's gonna go down. It is an amazingly fun and awesome creature though. I suggest everyone try it out. Stuff doesn't have to be just overpowered to be awesome. You just want that realism, you know? And squirreling away with these little things. That's realistic, baby. And I love the way its attacks are meant to detour stuff from biting them as they run away. That's like basically just porcupines, you know? That's that realism I'm looking for. This creature's freaking awesome though. I love it. But if you guys want to see more dinosaur stuff, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>